In this topic, first of all, I'll introduce you parts of an angle, which are arms, vertex, and degree. Then I'll explain you about an angle and its type with the help of the definitions and examples. After completing this whole topic, we will reinforce this lesson and then we will perform an activity to make angles with hand palms. What are arms? These are the rays that make up an angle. And how can we differentiate between a line segment and a ray? Line segment is simple, a line which is having no arrow on its both ends. Here you can see a line segment AB which doesn't have arrows on both ends. But on the other hand, ray is a simple line having arrow at one end. You can see here a ray named C. It is having only one arrow at its right end. When we will join the two rays with a common point, they both make an angle. Now in this diagram, you can see two rays. One is ray 1 and second one is ray 2. Both rays are representing arm 1 and arm 2. When these arms are joining together with the common point S, they make an angle. In the next example, you can see two arms. One is vertical and one is horizontal. They both are joining with the common point and making a right angle, means a 90 degree angle. In the next example, you can see a traffic sign, which you must have seen on the roads. This sign is also having two arms and both arms are joining together and making an angle. Next is vertex. Vertex is the common point where the two arms meet to make an angle. Here in this diagram, you can see two arms and these two arms are joining together with the common point which you can see as a red dot and this common point is called a vertex. In the next example, you can see a yellow cuboid and you can also see a black dot with a red circle. This is the vertex where the two arms or sides are joining together. In this cuboid, we can count eight vertices. One common point is called a vertex. More than one common points are called vertices. In the next example, you can see this elbow, which is a joining point of upper and lower part of an arm. This common point is called a vertex, which helps us to bend our arm inward and outward. Now I will tell you about degree. It measures the size of an angle and it is denoted with a symbol you can see here in red color. This symbol is just like a small zero which you can see on the top right corner of the number. Here in this example you can see 54 degree and the degree sign is present on the top right corner of 54. In the next example, you can see 90 degree angle and the degree sign is present on the top right corner of 90. Similarly, in this 45 degree, you can see the degree sign on the top right side of 45. In next example, you can see 180 degree. This is a straight angle and you can see the degree sign on the top right side of this 180. Now I will explain you about an angle. It is the amount of turn between two arms or you can say rays having common end point which is called vertex. It is measured in degrees. Here in this diagram you can see two rays which are actually the arms. And these arms are joining together with the common point called vertex. And the space between both arms shows an angle. 
In this bicycle, you can also see two different angles. One is obtuse and the other one is acute angle. Now I will tell you about types of angle. Angles are of five types and their names are right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle. Now you can see here all these types of angle. Now I will explain you right angle. An angle measures at 90 degree is called a right angle. It is a one quarter of a turn. Here in this picture, you can see this boy has opened his arms in such a way that he is making a right angle. In the next picture, you can see an L shape, which is also showing a space of 90 degree between both arms. This is called right angle. In the next diagram, you can see different shapes like square, rectangle and right triangle. All these shapes are having 90 degree angle, which is called right angle. Now I will explain you the next type of an angle, which is acute angle. An angle less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Here in this picture, you can see this boy has opened his arms in such a way that he is making an acute angle. And the space between his arms is less than 90 degree. Here you can see the arms of this clock is also showing an acute angle. Means the space between both arms of this clock is less than 90 degree. Here you can see different acute angles which are all less than 90 degree. For example, 62 degree, 48 degree, 71 degree, 54 degree, 12 degree and 67 degree. These are all less than 90 degree so we can call them acute angle. So I will tell you about obtuse angle. An angle that measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle. Here you can see this little girl has opened her arms in such a way that she is making an obtuse angle. The space between her both arms is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Here you can also see 120 degree, which is more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. So we can call this obtuse angle. This Chinese fan is also showing an obtuse angle. This bed is also showing an obtuse angle because both arms are having a space more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Here you can see different obtuse angles. These are all more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. These are 116 degree, 112 degree, 105 degree, 94 degree, 168 degree. These are all more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. The next type is straight angle. An angle have exact 180 degree is called a straight angle. Now you can see here, this is a straight angle, which is half of a circle. Here in this clock, you can also see a straight angle of exact 180 degree. This pencil is also showing exact 180 degree means a straight angle. These stairs are also showing 180 degree and this is also called right angle. Now I have shown here different straight angles and all are having 
exact 180 degree. Now fifth type is reflex angle. An angle measures more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle. Here in this diagram, you can see the outer space between both arms is 311 degree, which is more than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. So this is called a reflex angle. In this diagram, you can also see an angle of 210 degrees, which is also more than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. Here you can see different reflex angles and all these angles are more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. For example, the first one is 244 degree. The next is 248 degree. The next is 255 degrees. The next is 266 degrees. And the last one is 192 degrees. So these are all reflex angles. After completing the whole topic, we will do the reinforcement of this lesson. First, we will reinforce the parts of an angle. As I have discussed with you earlier, there are three parts of an angle, the vertex, the sides or arms and the degree of an angle. The vertex is where two lines intersect or two arms are joining together with the common end point that is called a vertex. Next, the sides or arms. These are the two lines forming the angle. Next is degree. The size of an angle is a measure of rotation in degrees. The space between both arms always shows a degree and this makes an angle. Next, we will reinforce types of an angle. As I have told you earlier, there are five types of an angle. First one is a straight angle, which is exact 180 degree. The next is a right angle, which is exact 90 degree. The next one is an acute angle, which is less than 90 degree. The next one is an obtuse angle, which is more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. The last one is a reflex angle, which is more than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. Now I will show you an other reinforcement worksheet. Here you can see different clocks and the space between their hands or arms are showing different types of angles. The first clock is showing an acute angle, which is less than 90 degree. The second clock is showing a right angle, which is exactly 90 degree. Third clock is showing an obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. Then the next clock is showing a straight angle, which is exactly 180 degree. And the last clock is showing a reflex angle, which is greater than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. After reinforcement, we have an activity time. And the task is, you have to use your hand palms or fingers to make these angles. Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle, and straight angle. Now you all have to make these angles with the help of your hand palms or your fingers. We will measure the angle with a protector. You can see this D shape. This is called a protector. Now you all have to do practice 
I hope you understood the concept well. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and do not forget to press bell icon and turn on the notification to get latest updates about the videos. Thank you.